Hi all, this is Anjali and in this video, I'll be explaining you how to swap two numbers in Python. Swapping of numbers is very important for any language. So whichever language you're coding, it's a very small task, but uh, it's very useful at many places, specifically when you're sorting the elements or you're performing the operations where you need to interchange the values. So swapping basically means that you have to change the values of two variables with each other. That is, if I have two variables named A and B, so the value of A should go to B and value of B should go to A. So let's see how we do that in Python. So there are two ways of doing that. One is with the help of a third variable. Because when we take two variables, let's say I've taken A as 90, B as 45. If I write a statement A equal to B and B is on the right hand side, so assignment operator always puts the right hand side value to the left hand side variable. So that 45 will go in A and A becomes 45. But then you will lose 90. 90 is not there anymore. So we can't afford to lose the value because otherwise I will not be having the value of A so that I can put it in B. So it won't be there. So for that we need some extra variable which will hold the value for the time being. So we use a variable here called temp. So what we do is initially your A is 90, B is 45. When temp comes to the memory, A goes to temp. So the value of A which was 90 goes to temp. So temp also becomes 90. Now your A is preserved. The value of A is preserved somewhere else. So if I write this statement A is equal to B, that means value of B has to be copied to a. Assignment is always right to left. So when B goes to A, A becomes 45 and at this point B is also 45. If we wouldn't have stored the value in temp, we've lost 90. But we have stored it in temp. Since I have stored it in temp, I can use it again. So that is why we use this third variable so that we can hold the value somewhere so that later you can use that value for further usage. Now in the next line, I write B is equal to temp. That means value of temp should be assigned to B. So temp is 90, which goes to B and B becomes 90. And that is what we wanted. We wanted this only that value of A, which was 90, should come to B. And value of B, which was 45, should come to A. So your values are swapped, that is interchanged using a third variable. But... There is one, one more way of doing the same thing. I can have the same thing without having a third variable. Yep, it is possible. So give it a thought. How can you do it? I don't have to use any extra variable, but still I want the values of the variables should be interchanged. Right now, we just discussed that if we directly assign the value, it will override the other variable and you lose the value. So we need to see something which doesn't lose the value and also helps you to interchange the variables. So what could be done for that? Any ideas? If you have any ideas, you can write that in the comment section and then cross check when I'll just tell you after a moment. The idea behind this is the basic procedure of uh, integers or the numbers that if you have sum of two numbers with you, if I have sum of two numbers and I have one of the numbers, I can always get the second number. For example, if I say that sum of two numbers is 100 and one of the number is 30, I can find out that the other number is 70. It's simple, 100 minus 30. So that's the logic we're going to use over here. So without using third variable, we don't have temp in this now. A is 90, B is 45. Fine, these are the initial values. What I do here is A is equal to A plus B. That means value of A and B are added and that overwrites A. In this example, it becomes 135. So now at this moment, I have sum of both the numbers and I have one number with me. So what I do is B is equal to A minus B. So this sum minus 45 will give me the other number, which is 90. So we serve two purposes with the help of this statement. One, I get 90 in B. And second is, I still have sum of two numbers and one of the number with me. With the help of which I can get the other number. So we write A is equal to A minus B. So here 135 minus 90 is 45. So I get the second number. 
in A. And you could see the interchange is done. So A is 45 and B is 90 in this. So values are interchanged without using third variable. The concept, the logic is same, whichever language you are coding in, whether it's Python, whether it's Java, C Sharp, wherever. So wherever you do it, you have the same logic for swapping two variables. And as we discussed these techniques, these techniques are a very good example to understand the concept of space-time trade-off. When you are working with programs, you are developing algorithms, there is a common term used many a times called space-time trade-off. It's very important for analyzing the algorithms. Here we say that if we save space, that is memory, we need to put more time in execution of the program. And if you want less time to be there, you need more space for that. For example, the first one, which was swapping the numbers using the third variable. There we had only three assignments that we put temp, we put A in temp, then B in A, and then temp in B. So whatever you take, whatever you change, the main thing was that we had three assignment statement. That's it. So it's very fast to work because no calculations were required. Only values had to be assigned. So that is, you take more space because one extra variable was there, but it saves time. The second one was the one where we were not using the third variable. So we were saving the memory, but it performs three arithmetic operations and then assigns the value. So it will take more time to execute the code. So that's how we differ in space and time management. So you can save one of them. It's your choice. Who do you save? Okay. Now let's execute the same code which we just discussed. I want to input a value in A. So I write input enter first number and then you want to input a value in B. So input enter second number then I want to print the values so I print here that before swap A is A and B is B okay and then we write temp is equal to A A is equal to B B is equal to temp and then I want to print the values after the swap so we come here and we write after swap is this. <clears throat> so this is the code which we are doing with third variable. So swapping two values using third variable. Okay, let's execute this code. Enter the first number, say 70. Second number is 56. So it shows you before swap, A is 70, B is 56. And after swap, A is 56 and B is 70. So that's how we modify the values with the help of third variable. Now I want to do the same thing, but without using the third variable. So for that, I've just copied and pasted the code, swap to here, I won't say values, I'll say numbers because we need to perform arithmetic operations, but this code could swap any two values, means of any data type, because we haven't converted this input into integer. So it could be any value. Swapping two numbers without using third variable. Okay. Since we are working specifically on numbers here, so we need to take the value as an integer. Otherwise, you will not be able to perform the arithmetic operations. So here we don't need temp. Rather, we just write A is equal to A plus B. And then I write B is equal to A minus B. And then A is equal to A minus B. That's it. So that's the code. And we execute it. And we enter any two numbers. And the second number is let's say this, and the values are interchanged. So that is how we can use both the codes. Fine. I hope you understood how to use the concept. Now, what you have to do, the assignment for this video is that you have to take three variables, A, B, C, 
and you have to move them in a cyclic order like whatever I have in A that should go to B, whatever I have in B that should be stored in C and whatever I have in C that should be stored in A. So rotate the values in three variables, move them in cyclic order and do post the solution in the comment section below. Till then, keep watching, keep learning and yes, you can download this file from the link in the description section. See ya.